Christians are always referring to God as the creator. The Bible teaches that in the beginning, God existed and then everything came from him. Everything that we know in our universe, we could say all space, time, and matter came from God, that God created all things. In fact, that's the Christian argument that because everything was created, there must have been a creator. Or another way to put it would be anything that was caused must have had a cause. But I'll often hear a question, even from some Christians, that if everything was created by God, well, then who created God? If everything came from God, where did God come from? The Bible teaches that God has no origin. The Bible teaches that God always existed and had no beginning. But is this even a logical thing for a Christian to believe? It's a, such an unusual idea that something could have always existed. It's not something that we typically think that we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, something that had no beginning. So can we even feel good or confident in believing such a thing? Could it even be possible for something to have no beginning? Well, I would suggest to you that if we really break it down, everyone believes that something had no beginning. Now, as Christians, we believe that thing is God, that God is the uncaused first cause that causes everything else. But perhaps for the non-believer, that uncaused first cause, that thing that was always here would just be the universe itself. That Maybe uh, someone would believe that all space, time, and matter must have always existed to some extent. Uh, maybe it didn't look like today, but in some form or another, space, time, and matter always existed. Or if it had a beginning of space, time, and matter, maybe there was something prior to that that existed at the quantum level. Maybe there was parallel universes that existed previous. Uh, but something must have always existed. There cannot be an infinite amount of causes going back in the past. In fact, that would be illogical. It would actually be illogical to believe that there's an infinite number of causes in the past. And the way we can think about this is if we think about a line of dominoes, you know, we line up all of our dominoes and then if we knock one over, right, they're all going to cause the next one to get knocked over. Well, imagine we've got a line of dominoes and right before we go to knock over that first one, we say, hey, hang on, hang on, let's put one more domino in front. And then we go to, to knock it over. But right before we touch it, we say, no, 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 let's add one more. Now let's imagine that we did that infinitely. Every time we got ready to start, knock over the first one, we added one continuously. We never stopped. Do you think that the last domino in the line would ever be knocked over? Well, of course not. It would never get, get started. The line of dominoes would never start getting knocked over because we always kept adding one into the past. See, ultimately, for the line of dominoes to work, there has to be one that begins everything else. That one thing in the Christian's mind would be God. God is that first thing that has nothing before it that causes all other things. Now, listen, if you're not a believer, if you don't believe that there is a God, ultimately, you've got to believe that something exists as that first domino. Something existed before all other things had no cause, but caused everything else. The entire sequence of events to today must have been caused by something which had no beginning. So as Christians, we can feel confident in this idea of an eternal God. This is not an illogical or even a crazy idea. This is an idea that we all ultimately will have to grapple with. We'll all have to uh, feel contented with because there it's not possible for there to be an infinite amount of things that cause an infinite amount of causes in the past. There must be that one thing that causes all other things. So as Christians, that's why we feel confidence in that God is eternal. God is that first, that uncaused first cause that causes all the rest of the sequences of events to occur leading up to today.